Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Tuesday, we're gonna start following Kathy around to see what's old for us. But first we have a couple of viewers that have supported us by buying us some coffees. First up, we have Lindsay who bought us three coffees. Lindsay, thank you so much. And I think you said you had some family out here in Falcon, which is kind of crazy. Falcon's a pretty small outskirt on the edge of Colorado Springs. So it's a small world, really. Uh, thank you so much for that support, Lindsay. And Tracy sent us four coffees and she said she loves the channel and loves our daily content. Uh, Tracy, thank you so much for those coffees. And if you are interested in supporting the channel by buying us a coffee, there is a link down in our description below. I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy and we'll see what's sold for us today. Hey friends. Yeah, thank you, Lindsay and Tracy so much. Um, I already had my coffee and threw it away today, but <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Um, yeah, today has been a very day. active day. Yes. for us and <laughs> I feel like we haven't really it's one of those days where we've been doing stuff all day but it feels like we haven't done anything it's true <laughs> but I really did do stuff like yeah no you've you've I've done, done a lot but yeah it does feel like I've done nothing so. right because it's already um, we haven't had lunch yet it's 1 30 like, yeah. <laughs> so we're recording early gonna get some lunch before we get the kids because we're doing a list perfectly live tonight. So yeah, with the co-founders after. Yep. It, but if you miss the live, you can always go back and watch it. It'll yeah. be a Q and A type thing. So if you've ever wanted to know more about List Perfectly, they created it, and yeah. so they'll be telling all about it. Yeah, I'm excited about it. So. All right, my first sale today was this Aviator Nation kits, um, just like a thermal shirt. This is something I bought for my son off kid is in a while back. Uh, he did wear it several times. I paid twenty five oh two for it off Kitizen, and then today I accepted an offer on Posh for thirty, so I make twenty four back. So he got to wear it, and I only lost a dollar. Um, it is Posh, but I'm gonna ship that out in my Halloween mailers. <laughs> <laughs> only a couple more days of October left. Yeah. So. Yeah, it is the 26th today, so it's... it's a busy week. Our yeah. kids have... This, this is like spirit week, so every day is something new. Today was crazy hair day, so it's just like <laughs> yep. something else we have to prepare for each day. Yeah. Um, so they went with green hair today, so that was fun for them. Clark's. Oh, yeah, this is what it is. These are some nice, like... They're kind of like a burgundy, although they, when I looked up the color, it, they called them brown, but I think they look more burgundy. Anyways, they're just some nice little Clark's ankle boots. I normally price Clark's around 30 plus ship. These, since they were like a little bit nicer boots, I priced them higher at 40 plus ship, but we had a sale running, so the buyer paid 35.56 plus ship. So really good for a pair of Clark's. I had 8.99 into those. And they're just gonna ship out in the shoe box. Right, and I believe that sold, yeah, that was on eBay. So ever since I've been doing my 15 daily, I definitely have noticed an increase on eBay. Yeah. Um, I was waking up to almost no eBay sales, and the last couple days I've woken up to two, three, four a day. Um, so I definitely think it's working. I'm gonna keep it up, hopefully yeah. forever. Like, it's a, it's a good habit to have. Right. And it hasn't been terribly hard, I mean, if you can just keep your routine, it's really simple, and then right. I want to grow it as I get better. Um, so also these sold on eBay overnight. They're just some Birkenstocks, like the rubber type clogs. Uh, these I actually got at Plato's Closet, so I did pay $18 for them, but they sold for $53.36 plus shipping, so wow. not bad at all. Yeah. Sometimes these, it's worth paying up. Yeah. These, they're not going in a box because they weighed like a pound, 13 ounces. So a box puts it just over two pounds. And this person lived farther away in Maryland. So it was going to be like $14 to ship three pounds. I only charged, I think, $10.99 or something for shipping. So mm. I just went with the two pound rate. We'll bubble wrap around these and put them in a big poly mailer. Yeah. So that's Which we have me three bucks. We've been asked a few times uh, if we do shoes in poly mailers, and we really don't have any issue with that. We do. Yeah. We try to that. bubble wrap if if possible. Um, you know, we, if we're able to do a box like Poshmark and stuff, we'll definitely do a box. Uh, we do think that's sure. the best way. But you know, we do padded <laughs> flat rates all the time. We do poly mailers, like in this case, with a bubble wrap around it. Yeah. So you know, and we haven't really had any 
complaints nope. or damaged <laughs> goods or anything like that from doing it that way. Not for shoes. <laughs> right. So we do think it's uh, an acceptable way, and we haven't, yeah, no complaints. So. so. And those are just rubber. If they were a nice pair of $100 yeah. leather boots, I yeah. definitely probably would not do this. Definitely. <laughs> we don't deal with that high dollar stuff too often anyway. No. All right, um, this next sale is a viewer who I am very thankful <laughs> gave me a second chance. So this morning, so this is Ashley. Um, she bought something for me off Posh via a Posh or VA offer that she received. And then I noticed the, cause like, okay, so since I use Posh or VA, I'm pretty hands off on Posh now. Like I don't even look through my closet to see if right. I'm missing something. Like obviously I take stuff down daily. Right. Um, that sells but the item that she bought i'm like 100 percent positive i took it to the jbf sale a few months back and just forgot to delete it mm. um but yeah so she got the offer and accepted it and then i was like oh no i saw the sale come through and i was like oh no i don't think i have this so i like quickly was searching in my inventory spreadsheet and mm -hmm. yeah it was not in there and then i checked my jbf like sales catalog. records yeah, yeah and it was in there and it sold so oh um, so I had to cancel her order. I didn't know she was a viewer at this time, you know, so I canceled, sent a message. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Like, yeah. canceling sales is like the worst thing. It does. Me. It, it makes is. me feel horrible. So anyways, I canceled her sale. She was very kind and, um, yeah. Anyways, Supportive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I noticed I had a watcher on eBay, um, on this item. This is a Jack and Pepper, Pepper. I'm not sure how you say it, like a mm. girl's hoodie. Very cute hoodie. Um, anyways, I sent an offer and I thought it was her that bought it because I noticed when she liked the other item that she that I had to cancel, she had also liked this item on Posh. I was like, oh, maybe it's her. I sent her an offer. She bought it. I noticed the name on the labels was the same. So, okay. Ashley, thank you for giving me a second chance. <laughs> I hope you love the hoodie. Um, and yes, I'm very sorry to cancel your order. That's yeah. I need to do a f inventory yes. overhaul. Like this has been um, happening way too often. Like it used to almost never happen. I think I've canceled four sales just this week. So yeah, like I even canceled another one today on Facebook because it was another pair of the Boggs boots, which I was out of stock because I sold the last four yeah. this weekend. Yeah. And I'm like sure that I checked to make sure they were all down and I guess they weren't because it let somebody buy one more pair and then I checked the end and it says they're zero in stock but yeah so and I we can't delete that listing because there's sales attached yeah, to it right there's no way to delete like Facebook listings after they've sold and right. paid out and everything like that so yes um since I'm only doing 15 listings a day soon I should be able to yeah. Do at least some boxes every single day and catch up on my inventory. Make sure everything's down. I probably should just spend one whole day at least going, like, scrolling through and making sure I don't have anything. Right. That anything very anymore. obvious that yeah. you know you sold. That's so. <laughs> Ashley, thank you so much for the support. Uh, we do appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, that is kind of, I guess, one downside to po using Posture VA. We're not scrolling through our Poshmark cottage in our closet. Like, yeah. I'm really good about taking stuff down, but I still miss stuff, you know, with yeah. making around 15 sales a day and trying, usually I'm here and I can just delist them. Well, half the time I would say I'm here, Right. do it on a computer. If I'm out and about, I see it right away and I usually delist it right away, but I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes they get missed and I feel horrible. Yeah. So, it is some, one place we could do better and we need to do better. <laughs> Because that is, you know, a lot of these platforms don't like that when you're canceling right. a lot of orders and, and you can get... People are not going to come to your store anymore right. if you do that. Like, I've... Um, when it's happened to me, like, I get canceled orders all the time, especially on Facebook. Yeah. I sometimes will block the seller just so that I don't accidentally buy from them again. Right. So, uh, people might do that to me, you know. Right, yeah. So... Yes, thanks for the second chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I also sold these Crocs. So I actually got seven pairs of these at five bucks a piece retail arbitrage, which I'm very happy I found this deal because these are gonna be great sellers. So five bucks into them, they sold for 32, 33 plus shipping. They're all a men's size 13. So this is the first pair to sell. So they'll probably be a slow seller, you know, the next six will just slowly sell off, but that pretty much paid for all seven of them almost. So, nice. Um, yeah, and those are just gonna go out in a shoe box. 
And they're crocs, and you know? Yeah, they're like We the sell men's. crocs all the time. <laughs> they're like the clog. They almost look just like those Birkenstocks. They're yeah. clogged with the slip resistant soles. Yeah. Oh, and I, I think we, yeah, we forgot say. Ashley's. Let's do the pretty purple ghost, my Eve. Matches the purple hoodie. Yeah. All right. Um, then I sold a pair of swim trunks. So still selling swim and sandals and snow <laughs> boots and jackets. These are just some little kids hurly swim trunks. I actually bought these uh, retail arbitrage as well, but I bought them for my son to wear. We tore the tags off, gonna wear them to swimming lessons and they just did not fit well. They don't have like an adjustable waist, so they were just falling down and that's not good for swim trunks. Right. So we <laughs> sold them um, as new without tag. So $5 in, they sold for $13.31 plus shipping on eBay. Do a Halloween mailer again. Reese, you want to do an audit over our inventory so we quit selling stuff we don't have? I wish. <laughs> I wish you could help. <laughs> I wish my seven-year-old could help. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. We were scrolling through old photos in our phones a couple nights ago. Yeah. And Chris found one of... This is when he was probably four or five. We tried to teach our son Connor how to share our closet on Poshmark way back when. Cause <laughs> we knew we had to share, but we didn't have time. And yeah. We're like, we'll give you money if you can share Or iPad it. time, yeah. Right. So. Bribing kids to do work. <laughs> Don't report us to the yeah. uh, <laughs> Department that of Labor. That lasted all of like one day anyway. Right, it, I don't even know if it lasted a whole day. Right. <laughs> um, so these are, I sold a pair the other day. I, I had two pairs, so this is the second one to sell. Um, just some Levi's denim shorts. These do stay irregular inside of them. I don't know why. All the measurements add up to me, so. Seven in, and someone offered me 20 on Mercari. Since they say that a regular thing, I wanted to kind of flip them fast. So I accepted the offer. It's about a $10 profit still. And you do disclose whenever it says irregular in the listing, yeah? Yeah, and so, pictures. I put right. all the measurements, saying that they match up to the size right. that they should be. So say so we don't know why it says irregular, right. but it does. So, you know. I haven't, I've sold several things with it because of the store that I get this stuff from. It, it's a, on a lot of their things. Right. Um, but I haven't had any complaints about that kind of stuff either. Uh, this is FedEx Smart Post, but I'm just going to put it in this mailer. I was going to say, oh, today when I was listing with List Perfectly cross posting to Mercari, I noticed a new option. So FedEx Smart Post was the cheapest at $7.99 for three pounds. Now they've added UPS. It's called like Sure Post. <laughs> oh. So it's same up, thing. Same thing. Up three pounds is seven eighty four. So a little cheaper, but I like UPS, UPS. better. Yeah. So I'm probably going to do that one going forward. Not because of it's like a few cents cheaper, but right. I just feel like UPS does a better job. Their scanning is a lot better. And yeah, yeah there's not the issue of whether or not you could drop it off at of the post office, right? right? And <laughs> so. we've been dropping more off at UPS anyway lately yeah. because Almost with the everybody. increase in shipping and stuff, we're finding yeah, a lot. For the holidays, anything I can yeah. route away from USPS, I'm going to try to do that. Yeah, so. the delays are going to be coming. Yep, I think they already are. Every day on Posh, I'm seeing the text notifications. Oh, that, like, they're doing it right oh, away now. This is going to be delivered later than it should be. So... All right, um, so that's a good reason to just get your stuff out as quick as possible. Even if you have like three day handling, yeah. just try to ship it sooner and hopefully if it gets delayed, they still get it in the time that they think they're gonna get it. All right, these are these Adidas boosts I just showed in yeah. a recent haul. Um, I bought these a high price at Salvation Army, $22, but uh, I thought I could get at least 50, hopefully 60 to 80. I think I listed them at 59 on Facebook. Someone asked if I do 50, and I just said, yeah, because they're kind of dirty. I didn't want to put them in the washing machine because I didn't want to ruin the like foam or anything. Mm -hmm. um, so 22 and a 50, that's more than doubling my money. They've been listed only a day, so I thought that was a good quick flip. Um, the comps on this specific colorway and whatnot weren't as good as the pair I sold for like 100 oh, or yeah. 90 something the other day, so. Colorway matters. Yeah, colorways, <laughs> different models and stuff. It all makes a difference in pricing. Okay, 
these are just some kids play shoes i have oh these are my son so i did buy them full price well i bought them on kitizen not full price okay full higher price than on you would play have. would be like 60 bucks but i bought them for 24 dollars. he did wear them and then i sold them on posh for 23 with discount shipping so i'm making back i think like 16 or 17 of that pretty good pretty good and those will probably do a little regional a maybe work on your penmanship mama <laughs> what does that look like to you a u or a v so this is how i write on the back of my labels in case oh, anyone i, I can curious. see the v yeah so i just write what box i put them in what they are so dance go mary jane what they sold for 30 dollars and how much i paid for them 7.99 so <laughs> i paid 7.99 for these at goodwill and i listed them at 50 someone offered me 30 um i probably could have got a little more but again quick flips that's how I like to do things. So yeah, I accepted it. And I'll ship those out probably in a regional B. These ones always like the fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Messy table. All right, last sale is a viewer. And yeah, no, this is another one. I think I wrote DI, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't even, oh, we do have a DI, yeah. There they are. All right. Um, these are going out to Victoria. Um, oh, the, yeah. The, the United Nude. So I've never, I showed these in a recent haul. I've never heard of the brand. I just thought they were mini Melissa's at first. So I grabbed them. I saw they weren't mini Melissa's, but they felt like a nice shoe. So I yeah. looked them up. Usually anything with like a Euro sizing or something only I will look up just because a lot of stuff. With that sized in euro, it just seems to be good quality and whatnot. Yeah. So, anyways, looked them up and it was. They were going for anywhere like forty to sixty dollar pre-owned. I listed mine at fifty nine, and Victoria offered me uh, forty five. I was happy to accept that. I have six ninety nine into them, so really good flip. Awesome. So yeah, um, I think these retail for like one fifteen. Um, when I was looking up the website, they had some crazy ones, like these are oh, I... <laughs> fairly normal, but like they had some crazy looking sandals and boots and stuff. I was like, I'm trying to picture anyone I know in life that would actually wear anything <laughs> like that. Like I would wear some black flats, but like these other shoes on their site, I was like, wow. Well, we hang out with the wrong people yeah, then, just... I guess. We need people wearing those weird with shoes. my Sanook flip flops <laughs> <laughs> and slippers and stuff, so. Uh, no, not a shoebox, I think a uh, regional B for her. So, Victoria, thank you so much. I think she said she, I think she said she loves the brand but hasn't owned a pair yet. So, cool. I hope that you love them when you Yeah, them. I thought those ones were cool. Yeah. Much more normal looking than the other ones we saw from them. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much for the support, Victoria. Yeah. We're going to get this stuff all packed up. You got to help us out today, Reese. Oh. You haven't done anything all weekend. You hear us? You hear us? <laughs> I love you. He's getting old. He's, boy. he's got a <laughs> he's got a, a girlfriend. Oh, next door, <laughs> our, our new neighbors. Yeah, we have we have some new neighbors on this side of us, and they have two dogs. And one of them, it seems like he's always out looking for her, like standing at the fence trying to find her. So, and he's been trying to go outside a lot more than. Yeah, he yeah, he's been <laughs> wanting to go outside a lot more, but um, so he's just a lonely old pup. But we're gonna get his stuff packed up, and we'll be we'll be right back. All right, guys, got everything all packed up. Good boy, Reese. He's just licking his feet. So we <laughs> had to wait a minute till yeah. he stopped. His licky noises. <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway, we did not have any more sales come in while we were packing things up. Nope. But pretty good day overall. Did you want to go over the board at all? Yeah. Just uh, I know we've you've been doing really really yeah, I don't good. Know where we left off, but yeah, I mean I got my 15 up every day last week. 
and even 16 that day. So this Sunday I did 15, but then as I was like um, bagging one up to put it away, I like noticed um, like the insole had some hair on it, so I was gonna use the tape, get the hair off. Yeah. That's how I do it. Um, and Pulling the I insole out. the insole yeah. all the way out, and then I noticed it was more than hair. Like it was like funky, like there was something spilled on there or something, oh. and it smelled, to me it smelled like cat pee, but you know, I don't know if that's what it was. Right. Anyways, it just grossed me out, and so I just deleted the listing altogether. Yeah. And I will probably just donate those shoes back, so. Um, yeah, so I only got 14 that day because of that. I did 15 yesterday. It's today. It's today? Tuesday? Today's Tuesday, yeah. Oh, yeah, Taco Tuesday. Yeah, so that's what we're doing <laughs> right after this. That's why we recorded early. Um, they, they just opened a Torchy's Tacos here in the Springs. We've been once up in Denver. I'm yeah, while we were at the Gaylord, and yeah. Try it out. So. We went to Tor Torchy's, so we're going to have lunch there. Yeah. It uh, just opened a few days ago, yeah. so we're, we're excited. I'm excited. excited that we don't have to bring our kids to eat with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, today I've done eight so far, and then I'll do the rest later, either just before or after yeah. our list perfectly live. Good thing you did 16 that day. Kind of made up for that day. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, she's been doing really well on keeping up with the 15 and i think that's very impressive considering i haven't been able to help out at all got the flooring i think the living room and most of the big hallway in the front of our house is done but now i'm going to be working my way into the bathroom and stuff so in the front bathroom and the boys bedrooms and of course like last night as soon as i'm like done with the hallway and about to be tearing out the bathroom toilet and all this kind of stuff our shower <laughs> last night our shower valve just decided to quit working so i had to spend this morning getting that all fixed before i we were down two bathrooms because we only have two bathrooms in this house so at least you can do it all yeah <laughs> i mean it was it was a yeah it was a quick and easy fix it was 50 bucks for the valve but you know stuff happens in our house is i don't know what seven or eight years old now so things happen i've had to fix the re refrigerator the wash machine the dryer and you know it's we're about at that time that's one of the downsides of having like a new house everything's new at one time <laughs> and then it's all broken at the one time <laughs> so, yeah so lots of stuff going on um but yeah we're gonna go get some tacos and have a great lunch without the kids <laughs> which hasn't happened for two weeks <laughs> So anyway, guys, we're going to get this stuff off the post office and call it a day. And that's going to do it. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support from all of our amazing viewers. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.